Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to the Sorta Healthy channel. If you don't know me, I'm Alexis and I am the other half of the Sorta Healthy team. Today, we're gonna be chatting about something we've been asked about a lot, which is online coaching consultations. If you haven't already watched them, we've made a couple other videos on online training and coaching that you might wanna check out. Those videos on getting online clients and pricing your services will be helpful to you in growing your online business. Throughout this video, I'll be referencing a form that I use for my online consultations. This form is meant to help keep you as organized and professional as possible during an online training consultation. I typically print this form and fill it out by hand, but filling it out on the computer works too. You can download this form for free from our website by clicking the link in the description box below. All I ask for in return is a like on this video and a subscribe to the channel so that we can continue to provide you with free educational content. Alrighty, let's get to it. Now the online training or coaching we're talking about today is not virtual personal training. However, a lot of the advice presented here will help you if you are a virtual personal trainer as well. Virtual personal training is personal training via webcam, which you can see right here. Online personal training doesn't include any virtual face-to-face sessions, but instead provides programming, nutrition, and accountability to clients. Your consultation call or discovery call or chat, whatever you want to call it, is your main opportunity to make a connection with a client and can make or break your sale. This is your first and only opportunity to describe your value, make a connection with a potential client, and chat with someone before they decide to go with you as their coach. Speaking of that, when someone expresses interest, make sure that you always try to get them on the phone or Zoom. Setting up an appointment time to talk face-to-face -face or voice-to-voice -voice is extremely important in creating a genuine conversation and connection that you really can't replicate via emails or DMs. The best way to set this up is to contact someone after they express interest via an interest form, a message, or some other means of contact. By the way, this is the interest or intake form that I use in my online coaching business. This form has been a very crucial tool in generating leads for me. Most of my current clients were prospects who initially filled it out. I keep a link to this form right here in my Instagram bio. If you wanna see what an interest form looks like for an online training business, you can download a sample by going to the link in the description box below. You can also set up a direct calendar booking link on your website or Instagram page. Either or both really work, it just depends on what works best for you. This call or consultation is a way for you to achieve a couple things. One, getting to know the potential client. Two, determining whether your coaching is right for them. Three, going over your program in depth and helping the client to understand how your program will help them. Four, answering any questions a potential client might have. And five, hopefully signing on a new client. Make sure to always be yourself, but be professional, honest, and understanding. You'll need to act confident in the consultation. A prospect is way less likely to pay you large sums of money to train them if you're unsure of yourself and your abilities. So be the most confident version of yourself possible and if you have to fake it till you make it a little bit, do it. Since the goal is always signing on a new client, be sure to sit down to your call prepared. Send a reminder, email or text, bring any notes that you have on the client from an intake form or informal conversations, and bring a consultation form or at least a pen and paper so that you can take copious notes. By the way, remember that you can download the consultation form that we use for our online consultations by clicking the link in the box below. Always start your call by just saying hello and getting to know your potential client. Ask them where they're from, how their day is going, what the weather is like where they are, whatever floats your boat. Break the ice in some way. You can even ask them about the puppy that you saw on their Instagram page. Whatever it is, be authentic and show that you really are interested in getting to know them better. Next, you'll wanna segue right into some goals. If you have an intake form, reference that in asking any questions or starting the conversation. You can say something like, I see here you're trying to lose weight. What are your specific goals? You mentioned that you're interested in getting stronger. What about getting stronger are you interested in? The more specific that you can get on the goals, the better off you will be in being able to explain your value and how you can coach them. Make sure to ask about short-term versus long-term goals as well. On our online consultation sheet, we break short-term goals down into goals that take six months or less to complete. And we break long-term goals down into ones that take at least six months to complete. While a client might wanna lose some weight, their long-term goal might be something like feeling comfortable wearing a bikini to the beach. Make sure to validate their goals, ask them to explain or elaborate, and ensure that you have enough information to truly understand what they are trying to achieve. You'll then wanna move into their history, and the more information you have here, the better. It'll put you in a great spot should they sign up for your coaching. I break down my potential client's history questions into three different categories. The first two being fitness and nutrition history, the third we'll talk about soon. Ask an open-ended question like, what does your fitness and nutrition look like in the past? Or something like, what does it look like now? Then use that info to ask more detailed questions like, how long have you been doing the keto diet for? Or 
how many years did you do CrossFit for? Understanding their history will allow you to think ahead a little bit, but it also gives you some extra time for connecting, clarifying, and coaching on the call. After going through their goals and history, you're going to move on to what I call the breakthrough topic or their barriers to success. I always make sure to ask about potential or past barriers to success that this client has or may have. It gives great insight into mindset, motivation, and anything that might hinder the client from making the progress they wanna make. These discussions might involve things like time, busy schedules, kids, and other workout and nutrition killers. You should always ask your prospect if they have any injuries that they feel would reduce their chances of achieving their goal. Don't be scared to ask follow-up questions if they have anything concerning going on. Include their injuries in the barriers to success box. Always be thinking about how your specific coaching will help them get through these barriers and can help them actually achieve their goals. Now it's time to tell them a little bit about your training and coaching. Segue into this conversation if it isn't inherently natural with something like, thanks for sharing all that. I think you'd be a really great fit for my training. Would you mind if I shared a little bit more about my program? Describe key aspects of your coaching, including how you handle programming, how you handle nutrition, the check-in process, how you provide accountability, and anything else that makes your training special. Make sure to be specific without spending an hour going over every little detail. Focus on the most important aspects and specifically include things that relate back to the client's goals, history, and barriers to success. While this should be kind of self-explanatory, don't tell them that you do something if you don't do it or you're not going to. Don't ever make promises that you won't keep because you want to sign on a new client. If you're using our online training consultation form with your potential clients, check this box right here once you've gone over your program details. Now that you've given the client some details on your coaching, it's time to ask them if they have any questions. And be sure to be prepared for the big one of what is the cost? Make sure to give your pricing in a straight but digestible format. This can sound like my coaching is $300 a month with a three month commitment, but it goes down to $275 a month if you want to sign on for longer than that. Or something like it's $1,200 for a 12 week program and I offer several payment plans if you'd be interested in hearing about them. Let them dictate how this conversation moves along to some extent. If they've seen the value presented, they may say something like, great, what are the next steps? Maybe they aren't so sure yet. Reiterate some of the key aspects of your coaching, relate back to their goals and how you can help them, and say something along the lines of, I think you'd be a really great fit for this program. The potential client is either gonna give you a yes or no or a flat out rejection, in which case you can either downsell them to something else you offer or say something like, no worries, I completely understand. Follow up with something like, I'm glad we got to chat today. Would it be okay if I checked in on you in a couple weeks to see how you're doing? We actually have a section at the bottom of this chart where you can write a note to yourself as to when you think the best time to follow up with your prospect is. Whatever you do, please, I'm begging you, don't discount your services. Your price is your price and your value is your value. We have said it before in other videos, but sales isn't really sales, especially in personal training. The point of this entire process is to build a friendly, genuine connection with your prospect. You should leave this conversation knowing some fairly intimate details about them and their life. Do not haggle with them. Don't resort to salesy tactics. None of that stuff works. Always remember that your price is where it is for a reason and you're worth it. At this point, you either tell your new client, yay, what the next steps are, such as forms, payment, getting started, et cetera, and welcome them to your team. Assuming your prospect signs up for your program, give them two to three small things to work on before your next meeting, which should be soon. Write them in this box right here. If it's a no from them, Thank them for chatting with you, wish them well, and tell them that you're always available if they need anything. This whole process seems pretty simple, right? And that's because it is. Don't overcomplicate it. Have a conversation and focus on building a genuine connection with someone that you might work with in the future. At the end of the day, there are thousands of online trainers out there who offer similar services to what you have. Your genuine connection with them should be the thing that helps to differentiate you from the rest of the crowd. And that's all we have for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in learning about online training consultations. If you like this video, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more free educational content for trainers. I hope to see you soon and stay sorta healthy.